Sheldon. What happened here? What's going on? There you are. I'm afraid we're facing a new threat, hombre. I was just outside this village. Then something appeared out of nowhere and started shooting at everyone and everything. It was a massacre, plain and simple. Now in the chaos, I think one of the rebels managed to take the flying robot down. More Medicians dead. What are these robots? Not sure. They seem to be weaponized drones of some sort. Eden. Yeah, they were this big corporation back in the day. They, they were doing all kinds of super advanced scientific research. Robotics, aeronautics, nano stuff. Let me guess, another one of your clients, Sheldon. Where can I find whoa, them? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, son. I just recognized the logo from way back. I thought they went bust decades ago. Well, apparently not. And now I need to stop them. I got a nice present for you. A little something to help you navigate the friendly skies. Made in Medici. Courtesy of Dima Al Masri. Perfect timing. Hey, watch out, partner. I got a really bad feeling about these drones. We need to know what we're up against. Try not to blow it up. Don't worry, Shell. I live for stealth. Instruction number one. The Bavarium Tower booster engine provides propulsion and allows the user to take off from ground. Uh, number two. Oh, wait, there's something else on here. Uh, important. Bavarium too powerful and unstable. Boost will be blocked for a few seconds. Otherwise, engine will overheat. Should avoid more explosions. Good to know. Why do Dima's inventions always explode when they fail? Oh, wait. You're definitely gonna need this one. Mid-air brake can be used to reduce speed. Uh, also allows for quick mid-air direction change. Turn left, turn right, up, down. <laughs> Safety first, they eh, shall When close to the ground, hold brake command to land safely. Test show reduced injury rate. Got it. So how do you know about this, Sheldon? Like I could have figured that stuff out myself. I found some scribbled notes Dima jotted down. One more thing scribbled on here. <clears throat> Quick dodge. To dodge incoming fire or obstacles, the user can do a barrel roll. Lack like of a better wording. User can dodge in all directions. Sheldon, I found more drones. They're digging into the ground. So Bavarium is on their shopping list. This has the Ravello written all over it. from FEMA on this wingsuit, now would be a good time to share them. Oh, wait! Uh, look at this here. There's more on the back of the page. Shoulder-mounted machine gun is now stable. 
Target aim is fully aligned with wide direction. Ooh, and there's a second door for your compadre. User can shoot a very empowered Bowman missile. are of no impact to our organization. Listen, I got a guy working at the Air Traffic Control Center here, and guess what? They picked up some kind of anomaly somewhere above Medici. Something obstructing the airspace, they said. I told them to send you the coordinates. That's got to be Drone Central Station. So, I looked you up. The famous Rico Rodriguez, dictator specialist. All right, Ethan Callahan. Who are you? What do you people want? Oh, so you were listening. For a minute there, I thought all these explosions and gunshots had damaged your hearing permanently. I'm coming for you, Ethan. I will stop you. You actually don't understand. It's not too late to surrender. I'm heading up now, Sheldon. But I don't get it. Why would the Eden Corporation want so much Bavaria? Beats me. But apparently they're not afraid to kill civilians to get it. That's where you come Highly. in. Drone, gold, killer. We have a little problem. They've got an airship. What? An airship? God damn it! How the hell did those guys pull that off? Looks like a massive tanker. I bet Bavarium is powering the whole ship. Well, that explains why they're so hell-bent on extracting it. And they'll want more of it at any cost. And I doubt they'll ask politely. 
I won't let them cause any more harm to the people of Medici. They've suffered enough. Yeah. You know... Gentlemen, allow me to intervene. If you've come to negotiate your surrender, I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. However, if you keep destroying company property, I'm afraid it will have some very unfortunate consequences. This is your last warning. All right. Then let's do some negotiation.